Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafty Ames Workshop. I hope everyone is having a great day and I hope you are crafting something awesome. Today is episode four of the Mayberry Street Miniatures and we are going to be working on the table. I like to call it the tea table because of the teacup. So let's get into it. I am going to be doing a voiceover for this episode just because it was so long. I just didn't want you all to sit through everything that I was doing. Um, it went from an hour and 10 minutes down to looks like 29 minutes. So, so what I'm doing right now is I am missing a part to the table which is the pole that goes in the center to hold the table up. So what you'll what I had to do or what I had available was uh, toothpicks and I glued three together originally um, that didn't work so I ended up doing four toothpicks cut the ends off like what you're seeing now and then sanded down the edges or the ends to make sure there were no sharp spots and that it would be a little bit flat uh, for when I go to glue it on top of the table. So I did measure it according to the size that was in the book there. Um, just wanted to keep it, you know, the same as what it was supposed to be. I don't know what I did with that or if it, if they just forgot to put it in my box. I don't know. I may have just lost it. Um, so you're just going to see me do a lot of that. Um, just trying to make everything nice and smooth. And then now I, it looks like I'm trying to see if that's going to be thick enough. Now I'm using that three in one glue to put those together. Seems like I had trouble with that glue, so I may have ended up using the glue gun glue. Glue we'll see here in a minute. Now I'm trying to find where the center is on the tabletop um, so that I can properly put the pole where it needs to go in the center. And I used um, tacky glue for the middle. Realized that wasn't going to work out or it wasn't going to dry fast enough so I went ahead and used the glue gun to help stabilize it. And right now I'm cutting out the template for the tablecloth. I just had a pencil and just uh, traced around that template and then cut around it. And then I used the template again to find the center and uh, so I'm going to cut out the center and I'm going to trace around that once I put it back on the fabric. And then I can find where the center is where the tabletop needs to go. I just put a little bit of glue there. Um, I didn't want to put too much because sometimes it can seep through. And again, I'm using that three in one glue. I'm putting it around the edges because the directions say they want you to pinch it to kind of give it that flowing look um, as it comes down the table. So that's what I'm working on there. And that was not the easiest task. That fabric was a little bit um, stiff. And so, but once I got into it, it started to come together. I didn't put as many 
little wrinkles right there as I was supposed to. Like that one right there probably should have been two more instead of one. And now I'm cutting out the template for the second tablecloth, which is the decorative part of the table. I had glued the table down to onto my table because I couldn't get it to stand up so you saw me there um, taking my uh, razor and just kind of uh, forcing it off <laughs> and now I am putting the lace on the bottom of the tablecloth um, and what they wanted you to do which um, I figured out after a minute because it looked funny the way I had started um, but they want you to at, pull it down to where it's kind of see-through on the bottom so you're gonna have that lace hanging past the tablecloth and just a little bit on the top on the actual tablecloth and that way which worked out for me you don't see the bottom of the table which is where my problem area was because I didn't have my uh, table pole so I just glued it on and let that dry and I'm showing you what it looks like now for the second part of the tablecloth I have to glue that on and I'm showing you there and just put a little dab there because you just don't want it to seep through and I think I only put it on the edges I did not put it on the top um, and I used a little tool so the the glue wouldn't get on my fingers because that glue is so sticky and you'll see here in a little while how sticky it was <laughs> uh, so I used my little uh, tiny Phillips head screwdriver I think it came with it so see how uh, the lace is kind of past the tablecloth and it kind of gives it a real pretty appearance. So now I'm going to work on the accessories that go on top of the table. Um, I believe this would be called the candelabra or I don't know I can't think of the right word for it. Um, but that's what I'm working on right now that was difficult to make I have to say in some ways just trying to hold all those pieces without them falling apart <laughs> or falling over um, because the little bottom piece was not as flat as it should have been and so I kept having to adjust it and then the brass piece Kept, was bent and I couldn't get it as straight as I needed it and then trying to get that very top piece that you'll see there took me several attempts to get that piece on because it just wasn't going to do it <laughs> after several attempts it finally is on there yay success these pieces you don't realize are just so small but it worked out I did get it and now I'm going to be putting on the side pieces that would normally hold the candles you'll see that little black mark right there on that bead that's not supposed to be there but that's the only bead I could use so I may go back later and try and paint that gold or I may just leave it alone and not worry about it and then you just use these little other beads and put it on the top and there you have it I thought that was pretty cool 
Okay, now we're going to be working on a flower pot. And what you're needing to do on this, you don't really have to cut those into triangles because all you're doing is you're going to be folding it in. You'll see here in a minute, I just fold them all in. Uh, but eventually, I, I think I do go ahead and cut the triangles, but you, I don't think you really need to. It's up to you. Yeah, I was using my little embroidery scissors just to cut them. I don't know, maybe I was struggling with them not being that way. Maybe that's why I did that. You see that pink tip on my finger there? <laughs> I have a story to tell for that one. There I am folding in those pieces, so real simple. Um, you'll be gluing another piece. That piece there is going to be glued onto the bottom, so you don't really want to fold them all the way in because it needs to be touching the, that round piece of paper. That's going to be the bottom. And this is going to be the top of this flower pot, which I believe is actually like a milk can. That's the way it's supposed to be. So the reason for that pink tip on my finger is um, it's supposed to help you not burn your fingers on a glue gun. And I did not realize that this package had different sizes. I just threw that one on and my finger felt better with it on because it was so tight. Well, by the time I finished this project, I went to go take that tip off. I unfortunately have one more kit to do. <laughs> After this one, I will not be doing it right away, but I'm really excited about it because I don't think it's going to be as difficult as this one is, even though it's the same 24, 1, 124 scale, I don't think it's going to be as difficult and you'll see it eventually. Okay, we're going to go with that. You can kind of see the glue puddling up right there, but I think it'll probably dry clear, so I'm not going to worry about it. So there's that piece. And now I'm making the flowers to put in it. So I could not get the tip of this off my finger. <laughs> It scared me half to death. I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to go to the hospital or cut it off or something. And next thing you know, I look down and it's not on my finger, but my finger um, was so numb from that being on for so long that I could not feel my fingertip. So be careful when you put those on. <laughs> oh, at least get the right size put on if you're going to use them. finished project okay guys I know this is not perfect but <laughs> it's so small I can barely do this um, so I really have to give it to those who, who do this a lot because I just don't know how you do it without making a total mess like I am but so um, I did not have for some reason, I 
could not find that pole right there that goes to the bottom of the table. So I made do, I made my own use, using four toothpicks. Then I used hot glue gun to attach it on there along with some other glue. And then I kind of made a platform right here on the very bottom because it wasn't standing up at all. So I just used that hot glue gun for that. It's not pretty, but it's standing up and you can't see it anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Um, this, this teacup we made in the last video, so you'll have to watch that and see how I did that. So we're going to put that there for the moment. Um, this was a devil, I'm just going to say. This thing right here. But it's halfway decent. I'm not going to complain. And this bead, unfortunately, has a big black spot on it for some reason. So we'll just keep it this way. Unfortunately, on this side, you have all of my... <clears throat> my hot glue gun right there and where I burnt my finger I believe is where I did that but that's okay it's so small it's gonna be in this little house that we're making and I don't think you're gonna see it anyway so I'm not worried about it this one is another added thing um, that were I did not make this came with the package and this is just being set on the table as well and then we made this one Oops. Okay, here we go. So this is like one of those milk cans or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what you call them. I think like a water can. And we put little flowers in there. So I think that turned out really good too. So now I'm going to glue them to the table. And let's, let's arrange it how I want it first and see... All right, so that's how I'm going to glue it down. Let me see before I glue it. You guys can see. All right. Guys, I just realized I was supposed to make two teacups. I only made one. That's why you needed two. Read the directions. Here, I'm going to show you what the paper says. And this is why I thought I just glued those pieces together. So in the last video, I made the teacup. And for some reason in my mind, I'm thinking, since it's just showing one, 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 and then you get to here, I was thinking two pieces meant putting the two um, pieces of paper for the plate together instead of making making two teacups. Okay, you guys do better than me, please. Please do better than me. So that's it. Now the next video we are going to make the chairs and some more plants so stay tuned thank you for watching crafty aims workshop i hope everyone is being crafty too let me know what you're doing in the comments below see ya